Yo, it's your man, Pleasure P. Marsha Ambrosius. TM2. With Eric Ballinger. 112. Tamia, and you're watching. Music exclusive. Music exclusive. Music exclusive. Music exclusive. TV. Don't stop until your body's soaking hey. wet. Okay. Hey. Uh, Yo, what's up? It's your boy Chavis, and I'm bringing you the exclusive scenes with, you already know, the music exclusive TV with the one and the only Miss Shariah J. Oh my God, how are you doing? I'm doing so good. I cannot complain, man. Just like, doing good. you look amazing. Thank you. And I have to say, like, I'm one of your biggest fans. Like, oh, thank you. <laughs> like, from the moment I've seen you, like, your energy, the thing that you bring to the table is, like, totally awesome. Thank you. Um, and I, 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 a few things, I know you're all about like energy and like things like that. So what is like, I know you go by on Instagram, Banji yes. and not like Shariah. So what is Banji? Right. Shariah. <laughs> Shariah. Yeah. Yeah. But on uh, Banji, yes. Uh, Banji actually is a very special thing to me. Um, it's a movement that I had created. It's an acronym for be authentic, never jeopardize individuality. Okay. And so I kind of got the battery in my back to do that. Like, especially in the music business and a lot of, you know, uh, entertainment this at this time like it's hard for people to be able to be themselves embrace exactly. who they are you know yep. so I'm one for just champion individuality you know what I mean and just loving the skin you in so Banji like, right how long, how long, how long <laughs> come from a little other Banji of course like giving a meaning to it like, it's like bigger and better which is yes no I came up in the ballroom scene oh, and right. you know what I mean so <laughs> right shout out to La Beja because that's the house I was in when I <laughs> but um yeah but you know that was slang that was part of our slang and we used that regularly and so um, me and my homegirls that was a part of our lingo you know right. what I mean so um, and I was a part of that culture where it was the bamboo earrings at least two pair like you know we was around the way girls and that's pretty much you know what I mean I guess what that uh, word represents but so, now it's just a bigger a bigger meaning to embrace everybody who just not afraid to be themselves I love it. so speaking about being yourself yes. um, I know that you were just recently on the final four yes. And I was rooting for you like through the end and like at the finale, I was just like, this just not making sense to me. Mm -hmm. So you not winning the four, yeah. what, were, what were your thoughts with that? To be honest, um, I walked away from that show feeling so good about everything, like the way it had turned out. I said that I had started that path um, with God in my corner, letting the creator take me in a direction. And God. so I could not, I trusted the creator that whole time. And then when it got to the end, and because just because it didn't turn out the way I thought or the world may have thought, I still had to just believe that the creator made it that way for a purpose and for a reason. Right. And I wasn't gonna stop trusting okay. at that moment, you know what I mean? So yeah, no, I, I still felt good about it. I felt like it was a dope platform for me to do my art and right, just right, right. and connect with the world. And to be honest, like a lot of people been hitting me, calling me the people's champ, and you know, and so that means a lot to me, you know what I mean, so. No, and I absolutely love that. I mean, I think on the show, you know, you definitely like gave your vulnerabilities of like who you were and the struggles that you were going through. So, you know, speaking about your struggles and like, you know, coming out that you had cancer and like the fight through that, but also not the fight of that, but the fight of your artistry at the same time. Um, what are the words of inspiration that you can give to people that might not be fighting something as big as that, but the smaller battles, not only the bigger, but the smaller as well? Like your inspirational pieces, like, because you are definitely that, you know? Yeah, I think the biggest thing I can say is um, 
Anything is possible, you know what I mean? Anything that you want, that you believe that you can do. Because do you know how many people said to me prior to like, oh girl, you can't do nothing like that. Oh, you just, cause I had just recently got diagnosed. So they was like, you can't do no show like that. Oh, wow. It's gonna put you under too much stress. It's just yeah. gonna be, you know. You can't tell and, me what I can't do. But look, and so I had to talk to God about it though. I did have a conversation, but then when I got the word, he said, yeah go ahead forward, that I got message. your back, yeah, then yeah. I had to just trust that that was the path I was supposed to walk, you know what I mean? And it was actually, to be a thousand, it was kind of strange because I'm a very private person like in my life. And so for me to make a decision to come out with something so big like that to the world, so you know what I mean? And so public, so like right. personal. Right, and yeah. I walked into that just fearless. I said if I would, would go into that, I was just gonna be who I was and do it how I wanted to do it. And I got an opportunity to do that. I love that, like speaking of how you do it and like who you are as a person, like your style. I think the style is the biggest thing. One of the biggest things, of course, the lyrics and of course the artistry, but yeah. like your style and like who you are as an energy, mm -hmm. like comes through in like your day to day appearance and how you come on stage like what inspires your style man i always been infatuated with fashion since i was a little girl like i mean we used to do i used to do all little free fashion shows especially in jersey like, i came up in jersey so we was doing competitions you know the joints where you be win a thousand dollars if right. you go and walk have your you walk off for your life yes, you know saying, robert that. tree hotel honey you already know so yes yeah, so i came up in that community so i always had access to people who love fashion and who just really looked at it in a different way. And big deal to like my grandma too, she was a very, a real big inspiration as far as just, she was always so damn pulled up. And okay. I just loved her. Like she, the first time I see somebody with like a long, long train coming down in the house, around the house with the slippers, <laughs> with the fur around it. You know, just a- uh, So just, you grew up around it. Yes, yes, and my mom, she was an around the way girl, so she was, bamboo earrings, always with the fresh styles. Like, so you, you know, mix the both of them. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. I could do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then, yeah, and so, you know, I just love fashion too because it's just another creative way, another outlet for you to be creative. Agreed. Um, and agree. also show who you are, you yeah. know what I mean? So. so speaking about like who you are, your lyrics, like as you were on the final four, or on the four, mm -hmm. you literally wrote your lyrics every single episode. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you draw from when you're writing these things? Because there's so many like emerging artists that are coming out and they get, they get these writer's block and they just don't know where to come from. What do you draw from? Like, what's your inspiration when it comes to like music? It depends, you know, like on the show, um, I was just really aligned with the moment. Like my bars were really according to that week right, and right, how right. I felt. was feeling, you know what I mean, <laughs> or who I thought was coming out there. And, and I was just, you know, in the process of it, just even writing bars about my other episodes or my current episodes, you know what I mean? So it was, um, it was definitely, I had the hardest job. I'm not even going to front on that season. Well, but you chose because. that. Like, that was not, and it was a great marketing tactic. I, <laughs> everything, like, slayed. Right. That, that's what was like, that's artistry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you're coming up with bars individual what, of like who you are as a spiritual being which yeah. i think is how people connected to you mm -hmm. so yeah I think amazing so too. Thank you know what i'm saying you. totally amazing um okay final question that i have for you uh you know there's a lot of people that are trying to make it in the music industry and in the music game yeah. and there's these ups there's these downs um i want to ask one what was your biggest breakthrough okay and two your biggest disappointment and how did you get through that? Hmm, let me see, let me see. I think my biggest breakthrough was um, during my career was uh, when I actually had the idea to create the Banji movement because it was, it was such a, a moment because I had actually met with some record executives they actually hear my records and could I do a little performance for them. So I'm full out. I bought my dances in and everything. Yeah, it was yeah, just right. everything. So we did the performance. Afterwards, they was like, yo, the show was so dope. Star quality. Love the records. But um, do you think that you could just dress a little more sexy, show a little more skin, Be maybe put not. pumps on? And then <laughs> yeah. the, the kicker was and get a blue weave. Because that's what I had, the blue, the blue Gumby. Yeah, which and I, mean, I mean, that moment, <laughs> Thank though. you. That was cute. No, I yeah. love that moment. <laughs> but they basically was trying to offer me a deal, but change who I was at the same damn time. Right. You know what I mean? And it was a, it was, it was a pretty big um, deal there. But I had in that moment made a decision um, that I wasn't going. If I was going to get into the music business and um, introduce myself to the world, it would be 
an introduction to who I really was and not somebody this made up thing. You know what I mean? Right. You know, you hear about the stereotypical stuff that happens in the business, but when it actually happens to you personally, it's, it's different. a different type of thing. You know what I mean? Because you experience it firsthand. But the blessing from that moment, of course, I turned that deal down because I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> but, right. Right. but the blessing was that the Banji movement was created out of that because that was the moment when I decided, hmm. Be comfortable in your skin. Yes, right. accept who you are, love who you are. Doesn't matter what nobody else say, and don't have no apologies about it. You know That's what I mean? Awesome. Living that, and so, yes, that I always uh, just remember that moment. Um, for me, I think I would say, to be honest, I won't say that it's this one huge disappointment for me. But I know, just to be honest, like in this business, it is ups and downs, and you do have to deal with a lot of. You know, you have a lot of high highs, and, but Outside you also choices. have those low lows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and then you just deal with the business that we in in general is just a tough business to Agreed. be in. Right. And so I would think, I would say that the biggest thing is having that willpower not to give up on what you believe in. Right. You know what I mean? Those yeah. are the toughest moments. I think right. that's the hardest part about being in the business and trying to make it yeah. is to never give up. Like to try not to never give up because right. you think about it. A lot of times. Like, oh, I could have. Yeah, you know, and in so some moments, in some moments, you yeah. feel like maybe this is not. But I thank God for the people and the angels that just was sent into my oh, life angels. for every time when I was like, I can't. They was like, Oh no, yes you can. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you Give need that. That, that support. Wings. Yes, that yeah. support system is everything. And I think that any artist who makes it to the top, you know what I mean? There's a whole slew of people who have helped them make it there. You I know love what it. I mean? Yeah. So. I think we all have to remember that too. You know? I love it. Well, keeping up with the inspiration of like who you are, for those that can't follow you or don't follow you, yep. where can they find you? Yeah, so on IG, I am uh, <laughs> Banji, B A N J I R A Y A, Raya. And on Twitter, Sharaya underscore J, and on everything else, Sharaya J. You know what I'm saying? So we've like took you through the process of the differences and we're giving you the exclusive scenes only here as music exclusive TV brings you. This is your boy Chavis, your girl Sharia J. Hey. And we out this piece.